In this video, we're looking at a standing Armin guillotine counter. Not here. I want him to make space between us, okay? And I want him to foot outside his foot, okay? And then I'm going to step through at this angle. I'm going to pull on this. Look up. Lock my hip. Grab some belt, whatever you can get here. Pin this super tight. Now, because I'm going to step through, it makes it awkward for me to then turn and take the guys out. The momentum makes it easier because the momentum. But instead, I go this way. Also, a good thing about this is, like, knee me in the face, knee me, knee me in the body, okay? I'm pretty safe from knees here. So for self-defense, this actually makes a lot of sense. So I've got this grip, I'm making some space. Hold tight, hold tight, choke, choke hard, hard as you can. That's it. And then I'm gonna step through, turn. When I step in, if I'm too far away, I'm gonna have no power here. So I can move the guy around a little bit, then step through. If you do this escape and you succeed in holding on to your opponent's wrist and torquing their shoulder forward, you have numerous possible follow-ups. So I've got him in a position of disadvantage. From here, depending on the context, there's a lot of different things we could do, right? I could step in and do this arm bar, put him in a, a kimura, okay? okay, I put him in this, while standing hammer lock, kick him in the face, I could step in, hammer. As I go in, I clear some space, now watch. Bottom the out. So I go in, my right ear's on him, I bob him out, and my left ear's chasing him. Just very much like a bob and weave. If you're going to use the duck out as a counter to the arm and guillotine, it tends to work better as a follow up to the initial technique. So try to go in and break your opponent's grip with your body. If that doesn't work, then by all means bob and weave your head out of there. But this particular technique tends to work best as a one two punch.